obviously if you're if you're a student manager and you add a brand new student, uh, you're going to be at the name screen. So that's understood for new people. Um, so the add registration button right from the name screen. Is my screen keeping up with you, Lori? Yeah, we have some momentary pauses there, but it's okay. doing well now. Uh, course registration. Not many people pick this. And uh, there is a way that you can, well, it's a way, right on the course screen, add edit regis, you can add enrollments to a class. And one of the benefits of that, or one of the reasons for that is if you had several people to register for a class, uh, you can go into the add edit regis, and at this point then you're in the register screen, and then you just keep hitting add, and then it'll go look up a name, uh, add that name, look up another name, add that name. Uh, the benefit of that is that if you're doing group registration, which we'll talk about, um, that it automatically asks you to group if you want to group these people together. So that's for doing group registrations is a handy way to do it. And then the third way is through the edit registration mode. And this takes you into the names table. You find the person you want, the bunny. It'll put you at the last registration in their file, which actually is a good tip for editing existing registrations. Uh, using the green screen, or the green screen, the green binoculars allows you to quickly look up and edit existing registrations. Um, and then if you're adding a new one, the add button from the green screen will then add another registration to Mr. Le Bunny. Uh, de Bunny. Uh, so that is the, the process. Now, you'll note when I went in through the green screen, the green binoculars, when I left the registration, it rolled me back to the name lookup again, so that if I had multiple edits to do on registrations, I stay in the lookup name, get to registration, lookup name, get to registration. I'm hitting escape to back out of this. All right, Lori, we're clear. All right? Good. Uh, so, options abound. Um, Clicking any action button saves the registration. So again, like the other data screens in Student Manager, pretty much any action button on here except uh, delete, or no, except undo, abandon, or X, or escape, uh, will save any work that you've done in the registration record, which is a good thing. Uh, source code, tracking code. Uh, that's a big, big, big one, uh, in my opinion, which is where you ask the student or you have your system set up so that you know what marketing efforts or what promotion venues or what prompted this particular person, Kevin Costner, to take this EMT class. Uh, in my opinion, unless you have an unlimited marketing budget, you'll want to try to track your tra do your marketing tracking. And Lori, I believe we've got a webinar in the webinar archives on that if you'd like more information. And absolutely, we've got reports under statistics that will report that for you. Thanks, folks. Um, registration details. Um, looking at the bottom of your registration screen, uh, you'll note that the date added, updated, update time, add time, uh, created by, updated by, is all handled automatically for you. Uh, moving on through the rest of the fields. Status field, registrant. Again, um, you can edit those. If you want to monitor a status of a registration, one thing to note, brand new, is that now you can choose to make this a open entry field. In the past, it always had to be a validated field. You had to pick you had to create options, you know, guest, panelist, speaker, and pick one. Now, if you just want an open entry character field, you can uh, enable it to do that. Uh, and again, that's in, in registration preferences. Um, reg code, miscellaneous code, again, user definable fields set up in preferences uh, for tracking information about your registrations. Um, and again, all fields with a plus to the left of them uh, are ones that you can control the data drop downs in those fields. And in the, I think everything except the paid by, which
which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, can be edited by you. Paid by is handled pretty much automatically by the system. You may edit it, but based on the name in the payment screen, it will put in either R for, uh, what is that, P for participant, F for, for the firm, which would be if a person has a company name tied to the name record, or O for other, if it's neither the person or a person's firm. And that gives you a way to kind of track uh, where your money is coming from in terms of who's covering your, your fees for conferences or, or for, for registration. 